हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू एसपी डॉट नेट एम इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज बाय नेट स्ट्राइकर्स डॉट कॉम मैं नहीं मिजाज इतिहाद दुबई है एज इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ एन एसपी डॉट नेट एम पाइपलाइन और द रिक्वेस्ट पाइपलाइन और द रिक्वेस्ट लाइफ साइकिल वॉल्स बट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू एनकाउंटर वन ऑफ द सेकंड मोस्ट पॉपुलर क्वेश्चन ऑन द इंटरव्यू विच इज एप्लीकेशन लाइफ साइकिल इवेंट ऑफ द एसपी डॉट नेट एम नाउ इन एसपी डॉट नेट एम एप्लीकेशन लाइफ साइकिल contains two application level events that are associated with the start and end events of the application application start event fires when the application is brought to the life for the very first request of the application let me emphasize it over again application start fires when the application is brought into life by the very first request of the application whereas as you can easily guess that application end event is fired when the application has been shut down so it is important to understand application life cycle events to get a better understanding on how mvc life cycle start so far we have seen that url routing modules is the starting point for the mvc application that has a collection of predefined routes to map from now the question you may ask that how does url routing handlers get the information or how the url routing handlers know that uh, which routes he maps to now the answer is very simple by using the application start event mvc application provides these events in global.asax files so you guess it right whenever you create an mvc application you get to see a file called as global.asax file which is a very kind of unique file present in the root directory which contains all the application level events all the pre start things that are managed in the application start events so now let's dive into the mvc application start event now what is the task or what is the purpose of application start event so asp.net mvc application start event is an event that fires when first request is received asp.net mvc application start which can be used to run initial configuration and setting codes and the third point is App, ASP.NET MVC application start event is the event that take care of registering all the areas of MVC application instead of global filters, uh, installing global filters and adding the routes and the bundle configs and lots of other stuff. So, let us understand about the register routes. Since ASP.NET MV, uh, MVC application start event is the first event that is called when the application receives the very first request. So all the pre-application tasks like routing take place here. So as you can see from this diagram that uh, here is the ASP.NET uh, app, MVC application which consists of application start and the application end event. Now below this you can find there are number of uh, processes or the events that happens in between them. So which are as follows. First is the begin request. Second is the re resolve request cache. Third is the map reduce handler. Fourth is the acquire request state. Fifth is the request handler execute. Sixth is the update request cache. Seventh is the log request. And eighth is the end request. So as you can guess it right, these are the eight events that happens in between the application start and the application end events. Now let us understand that what is the pre-application start event. Now pre-application start is in another option in the assembly level to register something before the application start. It could be used to some. Uh, it could be used to uh, run some kind of initial configuration code or to register module or any other code that need to be executed before the application start events happen. Now that's now that's uh, that's all for this video. And I hope you liked it because uh, this is the second most popular question in the in ASP.NET MVC. That is, uh, can you tell me something about the uh, the application lifecycle of the MVC? So you can guess it right that it uh, is quite different with the ASP.NET request lifecycle. So in our next video, we are going to encounter the third most popular interview question that is can you tell me something about http handlers and how you can implement your own http handlers and stuff like that in our next video so i hope you liked it thanks for now until then enjoy life happy coding bye bye